Uh, this time we're going to import from a text file. So same kind of thing, of course. You expand all that, expand your database, right-click on the database, click on Tasks, Import Data. Uh, we start the wizard, of course. We'll pick on Next. The data source this time, you want to look for a flat file source. Uh, in other words, a text file. Uh, pick on Next here. Uh, now we want to browse to a file, of course. I'll pick on Browse. And in the, the SQL class folder, I have one that's called Text Data. Click on Open. Uh, now you want to tell it um, what kind of file it is. So these, these choices are fine up here, but is it delimited or fixed width? In this case, it is delimited. And uh, the delimiter, it, you want to also, in this database, you want to pick the column where uh, names are in the first row. And the text qualifier, this should all be fine. Uh, so we'll pick on next here. Uh, now you can see when we did that, it did in fact uh, pull the first row as the column names. Uh, now this one is delimited by a tab, but you want to show that you can pick a different delimiter if you needed to. We'll pick on next. Of course, where is it going to go into the, our, our database? Uh, you want to log on to the server and pick the proper database. We'll do class one manual again. Pick on next. Uh, now this is asking you um, as far as if you wanted to edit the mappings. Uh, so edit the mappings would allow you to change the field names if you wanted to or the data types within the SQL Server. Uh, that was also available in the Access in the Excel one as well. But we'll pick on Next. That's fine. Run immediately or of course save an SSI package. Click on Next and then Finish and that should import without a problem. We'll click on close. Let's do a refresh on our tables. And you can see that one came into uh, this one that's called text data. We we'll always rename that, of course, but when we look at the data, it comes over nicely.